In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Arnold Distant Light. And we're going to use the shelf menu to create our first light. So I'm going to click on the shelf button and then click on the viewport. And this will place a, um, a distant light. And you can see we have the um, all the option to rotate and translate the light if we need to. And I'm going to position it so that we get some nice uh, shadows here. And uh, this is one way of creating the distant light. And there is another way of creating lights in Houdini, and it uses the uh, viewport camera position. So in this case, I'm going to change the viewport to look where I want my light to aim at. And I'm going to uh, press the control button and click on the uh, on the shelf button here. And this will create a distant light or a light that is aiming at the angle I was looking at. So you can see we have a distant light here. And I'm going to press uh, T and move it back so we can see it in the viewport. And uh, we have our distant light. And we're going to take a look at the options we have here. It's uh, pretty much the same UI. And uh, we have the same controls, uh, the same tabs. And a few controls. Um, um, are changing here depends on the light type and in this case we don't have decay anymore and uh, we don't uh, we don't have any decay because it's a distant light it hits uh, the surface uh, uniformly and uh, the new option is uh, called angle so I'm gonna switch to render view and hit render and we're gonna see the result from the uh, from the distant light and we're gonna change the color to have an orange tint to uh, basically simulate some kind of sunlight and then we can use the angle here to basically soften the shadows and you can see the bigger the radio the bigger the angle the softer the shadow is going to be and uh, you can see that it's pretty noisy at this point and this is where the light samples comes in we can shoot extra uh, we can um, have this light shoot extra rays on uh, extra shadow rays to solve the noise and you can see it's getting uh, cleaner and cleaner at the cost of increasing the render time of course so uh, we're going to be exploring uh, how the samples work in more details in a separate videos and uh, I think that's pretty much it for the distant light we're going to continue exploring uh, spotlight in the next video thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye